The Spencer family. Who is really behind the tragedy of Princess Diana? Princess Diana had a complicated relationship with her family, including her mother. Lady Di's parents couldn't offer support to her. The media often brings up the fact that during all of her short life, Princess Diana was lonely. For even people close to her were never on her side. If she was born into a family akin to one of Kate Middleton's, her fate would be drastically different. And perhaps Lady D would still be alive. On the 25th anniversary of the tragic death of Princess Diana, Focus recalls what is known about her parents, who left the former wife of Prince Charles alone with her sorrows when she needed their support the most. Earl Spencer When in February 1991, journalists asked Earl Spencer what he could say about the upcoming wedding of his daughter Diana and Prince Charles, he was seemingly in seventh heaven. In reality, it didn't matter to Lady Di's father which of the daughters would become a princess, nor would they be happy in marriage. All he cared for was his position in society. Initially, Prince Charles was to marry the eldest of Spencer's daughters Lady Sarah, while Diana was supposed to be Prince Andrew's wife. But due to Sarah's unfortunate comment to the press in which she claimed she wouldn't marry anyone she didn't love, whether it was the dustman or the King of England, Sarah was blacklisted, and so the youngest sister was made to be Charles's bride. The fact that 19-year-old Diana was 12 years younger than her future husband didn't bother her corpulent self-righteous father. After all, he himself married in his 30s, while his wife was barely 18. He wasn't afraid that his unsuccessful marriage could affect the heiress's life either. It's well known that Frances Spencer accused the husband of domestic violence after 13 years of toxic relationship, leaving him for another man. It didn't matter to Earl Spencer who of the daughters would marry Prince Charles. Ruth Fermoy the Lady Di's grandmother was the main procuress in future royal union. For starters, she was the closest friend to the Queen Mother. On top of that, she knew firsthand what an arranged marriage is truly like, since she herself married Baron Fermoy in such a way. Her husband was 23 years older, was constantly cheating on her and had illegitimate children, but to Diana's grandmother's status and position in society were above such a minor casualties. Therefore, Lady Fermoy arranged the marriage for her daughter as well. The latter didn't appreciate mother's efforts however. So in return Ruth Fermoy deleted her from her life the moment she broke with tyrant husband, and even more, she forbade Sarah and Diana from interacting with their mother. The Lady Di's grandmother was the main procuress in Diana and Prince Charles's union. It should be noted that when Diana was married to Charles, he already had a long-time affair with Camilla. But everyone knew that a married woman couldn't become a prince's wife, so no one took such a nuisance as love into account. Later in her life, when marriage with Charles turned out to be tragic, Diana recalled that grandmother couldn't understand her pain. In Lady Di's words, Ruth was distressed with her granddaughter, torturing herself over Charles having an affair. Princess grandmother believed that infidelity was not a reason for divorce, and that one should be quiet about their grief from an unhappy marriage. As Andrew Morton wrote in Princess Diana's biography, Lady Fermoy once advised granddaughter against her union with the Prince of Wales not long before the wedding. Ruth said to her, Darling, you must understand that their sense of humor and their lifestyle are different, and I don't think it will suit you. But by that moment, Lady D was already convinced in her choice to disregard such advice. Frances Shand Kidd Princess Diana was often compared to her mother. Frances Shand Kidd married early too. Her husband was 12 years older, she had an unhappy marriage as well and considered divorcing in her 30s. However, Diana said her mother was nothing like her, and that if Frances were in her place, she wouldn't tolerate husband's adultery and certainly would have found a way to send Camilla somewhere beyond the United Kingdom. But these weren't the only differences. Unlike Diana, Frances could easily leave her four kids in her 31s to make her own life. Princess Diana never got along with her mother. Throughout Lady Di's marriage with Charles, she tried to improve relations with her mother, she invited her to all important events, and when she had a divorce again, she took her to Kensington Palace. However in the end, Lady Di couldn't get support from her mother. When Diana's life with Charles became unbearable, rather than lending a hand, Frances Spencer instead distanced herself from her daughter, giving strange commentaries to the press and criticizing her personal life. Shortly before her tragic death, Diana had an argument with her mother during a phone talk. Diana's mother-in-law was the only one with whom she had a healthy family relationship. By the mid-90s, Lady D realized that the only person who understood her was her stepmother Rain, whom she hated since childhood for being in her father's life. But Rain held no ills towards her for that, and in Diana's last year they had a warm relationship. Focus previously wrote about what kind of relationship Lady D had with her main rival, Camilla Parker Bowles, 